Uh, India's G20 presidency is being held at a point of time when there are several global challenges. Uh, the post-COVID era has seen a vast number of people go below poverty line. A very large number of people, close to about 100 million people, have actually lost their jobs because of COVID. Uh, we are seeing huge challenges in terms of climate action and climate finance. There's a challenge of food, fuel, and fertilizer. If you look around the world, one third of the world is facing recession. 75 countries in the world are facing a global debt crisis. And on top of all this, you're having an uh, unabated war for over a year and a half in Europe. And therefore, the world is full of challenges. We in India view these challenges as an opportunity because during G20, our ambition, as the Prime Minister has said, is to be inclusive, to be very decisive, to be ambitious, and to be action-oriented. Our presidency has been very different from any other country because in most countries, the G20 is held in one city or maximum two city. It's very unlike doing a World Cup in Qatar where you do it for about 21 days or doing a World Cup in cricket, which we do in India for about 15 days. G20 is through the year. And therefore, we use this opportunity to take G20 out into every single state of India, every single state of India. We've covered over 60 cities and used this opportunity to improve infrastructure in all these cities. So you, when you go to these cities, you will see drainage, sewage, solid waste, all roads, all infrastructure getting improved in all these cities. 